Hi you guys, so I'm watching this video right now, I'm gonna make this fast because this video is already way longer than it needs to be. I was just gonna say that I'm so sorry that this video is so 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 long, it's over two hours long, but I promise you the process in itself is necessary, but if you want to skim through it, I have absolutely no problem, just be sure to watch most of it, love you guys, and I promise you my future videos will not be this long, I promise you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, now let's get to the video. guys welcome to my channel it's your girl Savannah Janae and today is actually going to be my first YouTube video that I'm uploading on my channel so make sure to go subscribe like and comment on this video because I'm going to try to post um as frequently as I can I don't know if it's going to be the standard two times a week but we'll see we'll try to I do have a couple of videos lined up so for this first few videos it will be pretty frequent but after that, I don't know. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. We're gonna. We're, I'm gonna manifest it. We're gonna do the best that we can. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm prepping for my LA trip. So I leave on Monday, July 25th, and today is Thursday, July 21st. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna be doing is this video is going to be multiple days worth of content, me showing you how I'm going to prepare for my trip. So for today, I'm going to be going to the store and getting some last minute stuff that I need just some like you know deodorant toothbrush toothpaste all that essential stuff and then I'm also going to see if I can try to find a new swimsuit because I mean I'm going to I'm gonna I'm going to LA I want to like I, I want a new swimsuit um and then uh like I said a new swimsuit and then also I'm going to be getting some stuff for my wig because on Saturday is when I'm doing my wig install I finally got a human hair wig you guys and I'm so excited I've graduated from synthetic wigs to human hair wigs. Yay. But yeah, so today I'm going to be getting some stuff I need for that. Like, I'm going to be bleaching the knots. I'm going to need a new hairbrush. And then I have to get some curl mousse because it's a curly hair wig. So I have to get some curl mousse. So, you know, those curls can be popping and locking. So I'm going to be getting some stuff for that. And today is just going to be me just getting, like I said, just me getting last minute stuff that I need. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday, I'm going to be doing my nails and my toes. I was going to go get them done, but I think I'm going to just do them myself because I do have everything that I need to do here. I do gel nails and toes, so I think I'm going to just do everything here because I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I'm going to go get them done. If somebody else pays for them, then I might go get them done. But if I have to pay for them, then I'm probably just going to do them myself. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be tomorrow's plan, nails and toes. And then on Saturday, like I said, I'm going to be doing a wig install. And I'm so excited. I have almost everything I need for that. I'm actually going to go, you know what, scratch that. Um, today, I'm also probably going to be going to the beauty supply because um, I need new wig glue. The wig glue that I have now, it's usable, but I don't know if it's me. It's probably me, but I don't know if it's me or the glue itself. Because the glue that I have right now is the Kiss Dual dual Tip Wig Glue. Um, and for the first time I did it, it worked extremely well. Like, it did everything I thought it was supposed to do. But, like, the last couple of times that I've used it, I've noticed that, like, I apply it. And then, like, the next day I'll wake up. And then like it the wig disattached from the wig and then there's like all like this is where i put the wig glue and it's like not attaching to the wig so i'm like what's happening what's wrong and i don't want to i don't want that to happen with this wig so it's probably me honestly i'm not gonna blame kiss because like i said the first time i used it it worked really well i just don't know what's happening but i'm gonna go to the beauty supply and get some more wig glue i think i'm gonna get bold hold i'm not really sure we'll figure it out when we get there but um I do want to make sure that I have everything that I need so I don't have to go out and buy something when I'm in LA. I just want to make sure that I have everything that I need. So I'm going to go to the beauty supply. And honestly, who needs who needs an excuse to go to the beauty supply store, honestly? So I'm going to do that. That's for today. And then tomorrow, like I said, nails and toes. Saturday is the wig install day. And Saturday is also packing day. I'm packing my bag because Sunday... I'm going to be going to my dad's house because we're leaving that Monday morning, like early Monday morning. 
like um our flight is at 8 a.m so that means we have to be at the airport by 6 a.m ish and then that means we have to leave his house at like five o'clock in the morning 5 15 because you know the trip to the airport is always a hassle and then so that means i personally like to do my hair and make sure my makeup is all stuff and just make sure i have everything packed and put it, that stuff in the car so that means i have to wake up at like like 3 a.m 3 30 lord jesus but honestly probably shouldn't even be a problem for me because i stay up until like three or four o'clock in the morning anyway so i might not i just i'm probably just won't even go to bed because the flight is going to be like five six hours because we have to get on two flights it's not a non-stop so what i might just do is just sleep on the plane <laughs> so that's the plan i'm gonna go to my dad's house the night before so it'll just be an easier trip so we can just go so he doesn't have to come here and then go there it's just easier for to do it all in one trip so that's gonna be the plan for these next couple days i'm gonna show you guys everything that i'm gonna be doing along the way like i said for today it's currently like it's like a little after 4 30 p.m and i did i mean i didn't just wake up but i know um you know did we wake up at 3 p.m we might have but you know what it's summer what else am i doing i just got off of work yesterday so you know what it's fine so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I have about an hour, hour and a half to get ready. I'm going to do my hair, do my makeup, brush my teeth, wash my face, freshen up, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to be showing you guys me going along to the store and the beauty supply. And then I might even end up going to Crumble Cookie to get my favorite cookie. The lineup for this week's cookies is okay. I'm just going to get the one cookie, the chocolate Oreo cookie. That's my favorite one. And that's literally the only time I ever go to Crumble Cookie is when they have that cookie because that's my favorite one so we might go there and then i'm gonna end up getting some dinner and then i'm gonna come back here show you guys everything that i got and then we're also gonna be prepping for tomorrow so let's get into it all right you guys so i have freshened up i cleaned off my face because i had makeup on from the night before don't judge me i slept in my makeup i feel like we've all done it i try not to do it sometimes but other times it's just like i i need to i need to i need to go to sleep so i freshened up you know did the whole shebang so now i'm just gonna go ahead and basically redo my makeup that was on my face just it's fresh makeup this time so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i think i'm just do like the basic makeup look this is not really gonna be a tutorial i am gonna be posting a makeup tutorial though it's just like my everyday look it's just this is not gonna be too much of a tutorial because um this is more of a vlog situation so I am just going to fly by through this quickly, and then um, we'll see, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, my dad just texted me. He said that he's about to get his rental car because um, he just got home from the airport. So he's going to go get his rental car, and then he's going to drive to his house first, and then he's going to come get me. So I do have some time, so I, I don't have to rush as much as I thought I did. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get into the whole makeup business and see if we can improve this. All right. So my eyebrows are done. There is this like one little red spot right here. That's because I had to, um, I had to tweeze some of these like out of place hairs that made the head of my eyebrow look just so weird. So I just had to tweeze those a little bit and then I just lengthened the, um, I don't know what you call it. I guess the end of my eyebrow. But anyway, my eyebrows are done. I think they look pretty good. The shape is still pretty similar to what they were before. I just freshened them up a little bit. So next, I think, I don't even know if I want to do eyeliner. I might just put on my lashes because I'm, you know what? I think we're just going to go ahead and do the eyeliner because you know what? Why not? Alrighty. Eyeliner is done. How do you like it? I had a lot more problems with it than I usually do. I had to use Q-tips to sharpen it up. And there was a lot of issues that should not have been happening. But you know what? We're good to go. The hard part is over. For me, I feel like the hardest part of my makeup routine is my eyebrows and my eyeliner. Because those are the things that I think I feel that I need to look the sharpest with. So we got those things done and out of the way. So now it's on to lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be using today is... It's just these lashes that I got from Amazon. They're coming in a pack of 14. They were $10. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and um, put these on. Alrighty. 
So my lashes are on now. I love these lashes. And I love the fact that they come in like such big packs too. I've used a lot, but I love, absolutely love these lashes. All right. I'm just gonna get these back. Oh, I feel like on the right lash, I could have let the glue dry a little bit more, but we got it on, it's fine. And please don't judge me with the way I put on my lashes. The way that I put on my lashes is really weird. I know, because I know some people are gonna be like, what is she doing? But yeah, I don't put on my lashes the traditional way, which is when you put the glue on the lash band, wait for 30 seconds and then stick it on. For me, it's always just been easier for me to put the glue directly on the lid of my eye. And then I use this little mascara spoolie to get any extra off of my actual lashes. And then um, wait for the glue to dry for the same time, about 30 seconds, and then just stick the lash on. That's what's always been easiest for me. So that's just what I've been doing. Um, yeah, I know it's weird, but I mean, this is just what I'm accustomed to at this point. So, all right. So I think, I think I'm gonna just stick, I only have a couple things left to do. This is a very simple makeup routine, just very straight to the point. So I'm gonna do some under eyeliner. And to do that, I'm just gonna take some I'm just taking some black eyeliner, I'm not black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and use a little under eye brush. I use my under eyeliner brush to put some makeup on under my eye. Ouch. I can't tell you, I can't tell you how many times that I've gotten black eyeshadow under my eye from doing this. They say it's bad for you, they say it can cause eye problems but I don't think I've ever really had any of those problems actually that's a lie yes I did I went to the eye doctor one time I think it was because I needed new glasses and they checked my eyes and they were like oh wow your eyes I think they said they were dry and then they told they actually told me to stop doing this for a while and I did but at the time I wasn't using eyeshadow I was using like an actual like under this is my I've over eyeliner but I was using an actual like under eyeliner tip gel thing for that so I feel like it's a little different now and I'm using a softer brush. So I feel like it's a little bit better now. And honestly, I don't think I would ever give this up because I just love the way it makes my eyes look and I love the way it comes out. So I guess you're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay. I stopped a little bit um, before the corner of corners of my eyes so I can put my highlighter on so for that i'm just gonna use this um i'm gonna use my wet and wild hello halo blush lighter i use the shade on the left this one this one i haven't even used yet because i don't really feel like i do blush and this could also be used as a highlighter i just haven't really used it yet so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on where is my highlighter brush right here oh, excuse me oh my god it like to spill everywhere Ooh, that looked good. Hello. Alrighty. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Usually this is a hassle because I can never get the eyes to at least look somewhat similar. Okay, oh my god, I'm breaking out. I need to do a mask. I see all these little pimples all over my face. Oh, I hate that. So that's done and i am also going to put a little bit on my brow bone i need to blend that out <laughs> i feel like i put too much on when you do the brow bone i feel like it's only supposed to be a tiny little bit but i think i put too much but it's okay we'll work we'll work with it all right yay so this is basically my simple eyeliner look like i don't do like when i'm talking about my simple makeup routine this is my simple makeup routine i don't um when i do this makeup routine i don't do my face i don't put on any foundation concealer blush contour any of that stuff um especially when i'm going somewhere just like simple like this so this is the makeup look that i do like when i go to work just my simple basic routine so I feel like my makeup is all done. This is just the best that it's gonna get. I feel like it doesn't look that bad, right? There's obviously some stuff that I can't improve on, but you know what? We're going to Walmart. It's, it's not that serious. So this is my finished makeup look. Is there anything that I can add? 
Mm. No, I think I'm pretty good. I was gonna do some concealer under my eyes, but I don't think I need to do that. I have my lip balm, but it's in my purse. I'm gonna just put that on when I'm closer to leaving. But for now, I think it's pretty good. For now, I think we can go ahead and get onto the hair. So, beware. This synthetic hair under here does not look good whatsoever. In fact, I'm even gonna be wearing a beanie to cover the head part because, oh my god, please don't judge me. It does not look good under here. All right, let's take this off. I am a double, double wrap girl. I put on my satin headscarf and then my bonnet just for extra protection. Oh god, here we go. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right. <laughs> oh god and you still you see what i mean like it like you see that's my wig cap right there and then like this i don't know why that's happening because it didn't used to happen before like the actual wig the lace part is back here and then this part is my hair i don't understand why that's happening i just want it to stop happening it happens on both sides too so i don't know what's happening but all i know is we're just gonna fix it the best we can for right now and then like i said i cover up my problems with a beanie so to wrap up my hair when i want to do like little curls i feel like it's like a little heatless curl moment i basically what i do is i just part my hair in half and then i do these little twists oh it's giving annabelle mm, love that for me it's giving annabelle okay but yeah i just do these little mini twists um and then i leave them i wrap them up on my head overnight and then when i take them out they have these little cutie, cute curl moment happening. Oh, my mom's cooking. I smell something. I think when I went downstairs, I saw her cooking something. But yeah, you see that? It's like a little, it's not a big curl. I feel like if I wanted to do bigger curls, I would just go ahead and curl, like actually curl the hair. These are just little light waves that give the hair some body. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out this twist on the other side. And I do both um, twists away from the hair. I twist both away from my, not away from the hair, away from my face. So when I'm left, what I'm left with is these little light, cute, little beachy wave moments that I really love. And it's not as curly up here and that's totally fine because like I said, I wear a beanie. So what basically all you're really gonna see is from here down. So that's fine by me. And I love these little curl moments that the hair gives. So, oh, wait, is that a hair that needs to come out? Yes, it is. Huh. I cannot wait to put that human hair wig on. And when I originally got this wig, it was like curly, curly. I can um, put, I'll also put in the description where I got this wig and what it originally looked like. I think I'll put in a picture of what it, of what it originally looked like. It was 26 inches and it was curly, like curly, curly. So I'll go ahead and put an, I'll insert a picture of what that used to look like. And I'll, I can put the wig in the description box down below as long as the human hair wig that I'm going to be installing. So this is the wig for today. And I I don't know if I need to re-glue this down because like I said, I'm going to be wearing a beanie. And I just don't know if it's necessary. And I also don't really feel like it. I don't think I'm going to put it. I don't. Should I? Because it's like this it is a pretty big flap um that's just that means i just have to i have to pull out my blow dryer i have to i have to do so much stuff okay you know what i think what i'm gonna do is screw it i think i'm gonna just go ahead and just use a temporary i'm gonna just use some of this instabond hairspray from got to be and just make sure it's down i need to get out the hair dryer as well because god forbid something happens and then i don't know i don't i don't, I don't know i don't know anything but i'm gonna just go ahead and fix it because i have time i have time to fix it i'm actually ahead of schedule my dad's still not going to be here for another 30 minutes so i have some free time to kill. i'm just go ahead and oh, i need my hair clips i'm going i don't know what i'm saying right now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up here and clip it so I can see the problematic area and just vision and vision about where I wanna put the glue. So about right there, 
Alrighty. Okay. So, I've glued down both of those little fluffy ends that were bugging me. And, uh, this is just what I'm left with at this point. Uh, don't really know what else to do. It doesn't look that bad, honestly. But I am just going to still wear a beanie because, you know, the top part is just not doing it for me especially the hairline especially like it's just not working for me but it's okay we're, we're gonna work with it this side was giving me some trouble i don't know if y'all can see but this side was giving me some serious trouble because i glued i glued this side down first and then i went to do this side and i came back to check on this side and it completely raised up again so i'm like what the heck so i just had to go in and glue that side down twice so yeah great day today but they're both finally down they're both finally sticking and I'm gonna just go ahead and give my hair a little brush through. It's not gonna blow in the curls because this is synthetic hair and it works differently than I feel like human hair does. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and oh god, I can't touch that. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a brush. So um, I feel like with synthetic hair, you do have to brush it a lot because it gets tangled quickly. But that's why it's only forty-five dollars instead of two hundred dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little brush and then I'm going to go ahead and I might put some oil in it. We'll see. I think, I really don't think it needs it, honestly. What, what do you guys think? Does it need oil? Okay, we're just going to go ahead and put some oil in it. Alright. <sighs> okay. I'm going to just use some basic Argan Moroccan oil. I'm going to just put a little bit in my hair. And then just go ahead and just do that. Keep my ends nice and soft. I love the way this oil smells too. It smells so good. It makes my hair smell good. It makes me smell good. Um, but love the way it smells. I don't even know what that smell is. I know it's argan and Moroccan oil, but still. I can't put a pinpoint as to what it exactly smells like. I just know. It smells good. Okay, so now I put the oil in through my hair. I'm just gonna brush it out one more time. Alright, that's good. And this side is good. Where even is my beanie? Oh, it's on my bed. Give me one moment. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now. So that way when I get dressed, I'll be ready. Excuse me for one second. So this is, I'm gonna just be wearing a basic black beanie because my outfit today is just gonna be black and red. So, hmm. simple vibes today. I was gonna, I'll show you guys my outfit. I might do a little slight change up with it. We'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen with it. But for now, I'm just go ahead and put on this beanie. I actually have gotten into wearing beanies now for my job we have to wear a hat with our uniform and i used to wear these basic um black baseball caps but then this actually be this beanie was actually supposed to be for my halloween costume but my halloween i never ended up doing anything for halloween and i, I never even ended up wearing my costume so this was just sitting in my room for months and then i finally saw it and i was like hmm, maybe i should put on a beanie and then i put it on and i fell i fell in love with it so we're just gonna go ahead and put it on and um, I feel like I love beanies now. I don't even know. I don't know how I ever lived without a beanie on my head. My mom doesn't really like them, but you know what? It's fine. It's my head. So I really like the beanie. Like, doesn't that just make the look so much better? And the fact that you can't see my awful hairline and the flat head and the wig and stuff that does not look good. Like, look at this. Like, this is simple. This is cute and my makeup is done and the hair that's sticking out of it is styled it looks cute it's oily it's not dry it's not tangled i like it so i'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little fix up i am gonna buy more colored beanies like i said i fell in love with beanies the moment that i put this on my head i like i said i had never worn beanies before i always worn i bleh. why can't i talk right now i've always worn baseball caps but when i put this beanie on love it I am going to end up getting more colors because this is currently the only color that I have right now and I want to wear them more often. So we're going to just go ahead and 
two more beanies yay okay so i'm trying to decide if i should refresh some of these curls because i know i said this was supposed to be a heatless curl moment but i'm thinking that we might need to refresh some of the curls at least bring them up a little more but should i let me readjust the camera so y'all can like see this is what the hair looks like just me without doing any without me doing anything to it you can see the little tighter waves at the bottom and then it gets looser as you go to the top do i need to do anything with it i don't think i do it's just something in me yeah we're gonna do something to it i have time so i'm going to turn my curling iron on and the way that i curl my hair because it's synthetic i have to curl it a weird way i'm gonna be using um a flat iron and a curling rod and i ow i'm gonna show you what that is so basically i just take the i just turn my curling iron on it's not heating up right now i'm just gonna show you a little demonstration i just take a piece of hair and then i flat iron it and then as soon as i flat iron it i take the hair while it's still hot and then like wrap it around this thing leave it on for a couple seconds and then take it off and then the, the curl that comes from it is literally like a um like a fresh curling iron curl so we're gonna go ahead and do that once my curling iron heats up or my flat iron heats up and then we'll just we'll go from there So this is the final results of the heat curls, the actual curls. How do we feel? How do we feel? Let me get this notification out the way. Okay. How, what the heck? Lord. All right. How do we feel? I think they have a lot more fullness than just the heatless curls. And I really, actually, I love that. I love it actually. So, oh my god, why does this keep popping up like this? I think. Okay, yeah, there. I love it. I'm so glad I did it, honestly. It looks so cute. And I love the fact that it resembles. And they still resemble beach waves, in my opinion. It's not exactly curls, per se. Some of them do resemble curls, but I feel like it's more of like a curly, wavy moment than like actual curls, just because of the way that I curled it and the texture of the hair. But it still looks good. It still looks good. I love it. I'm just gonna put a little more hairspray on them. I feel like cause it's synthetic hair when it's with heat, you don't really need hairspray, but I'm gonna just put it anyway. Cause this is the final countdown on this wig. Cause after tomorrow, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this wig again. Cause like I said, I'm um, installing a new wig and then this one is a synthetic one. and this wig is way past its lifetime like i'm doing things to try to keep it alive but i think it's just past its prime time at this point like the hat is really doing me so many favors like if i didn't have this i don't know i don't know what i would do so these are the curls so we got makeup done we got hair done so now it's on to outfit so for the outfit, I think I'm gonna just do some basic black leggings and then I have my red halter top. And then I'm trying to decide if I should do a red jacket or um, of this black jacket. So should I do black on red on black and then my red and black with my shoes or do I do red on red on black? We'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and pick out the outfit. I'm sorry, I can't stop touching my hair. I love the way it turned out. I'm so glad I decided to put a little bit of heat on it. Well, not a little bit, but put some heat on it and it honestly didn't even take that long it took like maybe five to six minutes for each side so this was literally done in like 10 12 minutes so if you want to do i don't even know if this would work on human hair i feel like it should if it works on synthetic hair i feel like it should work on human hair it would just work a lot faster and a lot better so i don't know but for now this is the product that we're with and i'm happy with it so i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys with me to figure out my outfit situation okay 
So I found the red top, the red halter top that I was talking about. It's right here. And let me just tell you, it was a hassle for me to find this little red top. Let me tell you why. So I went into my closet, right? I went into my closet to go find the top. I couldn't find it. I looked on top where my folded clothes are. I looked um, where I hang up my clothes and I couldn't find it. And I was like, it wouldn't even be in the dirty clothes because I tried it on one time, but then I never ended up wearing it. So it, it, I never wore it. So it wouldn't have been in the dirty clothes. So I kept looking. I even looked in this other room that I have where I have some other clothes and I couldn't find it in there. So I'm like, what the heck? And so as I'm looking up top, I look, I look up top one more time just because I have so many clothes up there. And I was like, okay, this is like a tiny top. It could have, when I folded it, it could have been hidden. So guess what happens when I go up and look again and I try to find the top? I fall out of my chair. So I brought this chair that I use um, in there because I have to reach up top and it's too tall for me. So I had to use that chair to reach up and try to find this top. And when I reached, I reached too far and I fell out of the chair onto the floor. And I'm in pain right now, but you know what? That's what I get for trying to find an outfit that actually goes to get. So, you know, that happened, that was fun. So then I recomposed myself. Um, I put the chair back, back in my vanity set. And then guess what I find when I go and look in my drawers? The red top literally the first drawer that i open it's sitting right on top so i'm like i did all of that for nothing if i had just checked the drawers first but i didn't think i had put it in my drawer i thought i had left it i thought i'd washed it and then i thought i had folded it up with the rest of the clothes that were up there so so i was like i um i don't know i didn't think it would be up there but and it wasn't up there it was in the drawers but it's okay we found the top now now we can get going so I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about when I said red on red moment or the red on black moment. So I'm trying to decide. I'm going to wear, I'm just wearing these basic black leggings that I have on. And then um, I don't know if I want to wear my red jacket that I have with it or keep this black jacket that I have on. And I'm going to try to decide if I should do red on red on black or red on black on red. What should we do? I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to just try them on, show you both ways, and then whichever way I end up liking, I think that's just the way that we're going to go. Because I still have a lot of time. My dad hasn't even texted me yet to say that he's on his way. So, we're on time for once. So, I'm just going to go ahead and try both ways on. I'm going to show you guys, and then I'm going to decide which way that I'm going to wear it. So, this look is the, the red on red look. I have the red halter top on. And the black leggings and then the red jacket it is a two-toned red situation but I really I actually love this I don't even know if I want to try the black jacket on because I feel like it's black black and then it is red but it's two different shades of red and then the shoes are I think they're the same shade of red as this jacket I don't think it's as bright of a red as the shirt but I really like <laughs> I love this look I don't even know if I want to uh, put on the black jacket yeah you know what we're not gonna go with the black jacket i'm gonna just go ahead and wear this this is cute this is giving me going on a quick trip vibes i love it love it love it love it and then i'm gonna put on my gold i'm not my gold hoop earrings my silver hoop earrings and then my red black and white shoes and then we're just gonna call it a day so this is the outfit that i'm gonna be wearing and then i'm gonna show you guys are my shoes even up here? No, they're not up here. They're downstairs. But I have some red, white, and black Nikes that I'm going to put on. And then I'm going to... Hmm, should I film in the car? I don't think I'm going to film in the car. Because when I'm in the car, I like to listen to music and just not talk at all. So I'm not going to film while I'm in the car. I'm going to just bring you guys back when we're at Walmart. And then when we're at the beauty supply store. And then anywhere else that we go. So... Should I try on the black jacket? Should I? No, 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 no changing minds. No, 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 no changing minds. This is it. This is the final look. I love it. And it doesn't look like a big difference on the camera. There is a difference as you can see, but it doesn't look as big a difference. Like in real life, you can see the difference a little better, but it's a difference that matches in my opinion. And I like it. So I think this is just the look that we're gonna have to go with. All right, so I'll see you guys when we go to Walmart. All right, so 
I've currently made it to the store. We're not gonna talk about how long it took me to get here because, oh God, why are these working? Because, whew, we're not gonna talk about how long it took me to get here because I got here. I was ready at 4.30 p.m. It is currently 9.30, almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm just now getting to the store. Well, we're not gonna talk about it, we're here. So, I came here to get some last minute stuff that I need and get some stuff for my trip. So I'm sort of looking for the swimsuits because they're right in front of my face. All right, I've given up on looking for swimsuits because I'm in Walmart. So, I mean, I love Walmart when it comes to I love Walmart when it comes to clothes, but when it comes to other things, I feel like it's kind of lacking just a little bit. So I've given up on a swimsuit, and I do have two swimsuits that are usable. And then I can always go to um, I can always go to shops when I get to LA if I really truly feel like I need a swimsuit. So now I am going to the hair and makeup section to get some stuff that I need. Oh, wait, I do need a bra. I like a strapless bra. Okay. I feel kind of self-conscious. I feel so self-conscious coming right now. <laughs> There's so many people in this store and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so... I need some whitening toothpaste. I was gonna get whitening strips, but they say that you're supposed to use some sensitive toothpaste like for two weeks before you use whitening strips. But I think I'm gonna just go ahead and make an appointment and get my teeth whitened. So for now, I'm just get some more toothpaste. I think I'm gonna just get like some whitening toothpaste just to help until I get my appointment. Either this one or I like the box that looks pretty because I feel like if the box looks pretty then then my teeth can look pretty. Okay. Mm. I think this one should be good. It starts whitening after one brush. Okay. I'll get that. I'm gonna need two brushes as well. I'm gonna get one that like works well. This is a dollar, but I mean just because it's a dollar doesn't mean it works. Clean. Okay. Tongue cleaner. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and get this one. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get out of this section. Fifty-six dollars for what? What is that for? Fifty-six dollars. Oh, that's because that's an entire. That's an entire wedding. I love when I walk in the sections and there's nobody in here. Of course, I don't like filming in front of people, but. We gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, I need some more soap as well. But I wanna get. Hmm, I wanna get a soap and a lotion and a perfume that like all match together so this, this scent can be as strong as possible. And I think I'm gonna go with this one because this one smells delicious, like pristine. So it's either this one or the foaming one. I don't know where that one is. Where's that one? Or maybe this one. The bottle's pretty. I never get the one in the front. We always gotta go to the second, third one and options, cause you know, we just don't know what people be putting in their stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Oops. Oh, toner, that's another thing I need. I said I made a list. And when I said I made a list, I meant I made a mental list. And now that I'm here, that list seems to have disappeared. So, all right. Okay, I think we're good in this section. I got my soap, got my lotion, so we're good to go. All right, this next section. Oh God, there's people in this section. Okay, I don't think I need anything from here anyway. There's too many people in this section for me. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave. Okay. 
Wow. And that one's my favorite section. Ooh. So when I said um I was going to I told you guys that I was gonna be bleaching the knots on my wig and now I'm here and I don't know which bleach to buy because I was gonna go to the beauty supply like I said to get some stuff but it's 9 30 p.m and you guys who go to the beauty supply often know all the beauty supplies are closed and I really wanted to get everything I needed today because I was gonna bleach my knots tomorrow so that way I could have I was gonna let it air dry and just do some stuff with it that was gonna take a day or two so because I'm applying it on Saturday and I want to make sure that it's completely ready by Saturday so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and get the taboo forbidden box dye which one do I buy is the question we could get this one is that a good option luminous blonde I want one, but like, okay, let's see. Ooh, that's, no, that's too expensive. Oh, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get this one. Okay. okay, don't judge me, you guys, but when it comes to my toenails, on my big toe, I do use a press-on just because I like to have square-shaped toes in my big toe is like kind of round but all of my other toes are square so that's why i use it just on my big toe i'm sorry if i'm oversharing for the first video but this is what you gotta do with okay so i got those and then um i have nail glue at the house i ordered some a little while ago and then oh i'm gonna see if they have these kiss lashes that i found on amazon because the kiss the kiss lashes that i found on amazon they were literally four or five dollars <gasps> they do they do, they are. They do. It's not the exact style that I was looking for. It's one of the styles that I was looking for, scratch that. Because one style that I was looking for is this style. And then another one that I was looking for, they don't have it here, I'm looking for. These are the ones that I used to wear all the time. These Kiss True Volume ones. I used to wear these all the time, but then I started getting into more dramatic looking ones. So, what i'm filming see what i have to deal with okay hmm. so i think i'm gonna just get these pair here i'm gonna just try them out and see anything else i need from here I don't think so. Actually, yes, I do. I scratched them. So. They're in my way. The brushes are cheaper on Amazon. So I'm just going to go to my trusty Amazon and get the brushes. They're, here, they're not that bad, but on Amazon you get more for less. Like $6 is not bad for brushes, but you only get three of them. And at Amazon, you get a pack of 12 for the same price. So, I'm going to just go ahead and get... I'm just going to go ahead and get... Uh, you know what I meant. I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff on Amazon. Is there anything else I need from this section? So, I got the lashes. I got the, you know, little press-on toes. This is why I love Amazon. People are like, why do you shop on Amazon so much? Because the deals are so good. I don't even think they have my shade here like cream beige golden beige like that stuff i use for concealer not foundation oh my god you remember 2016 2015 lip smackers oh my gosh memories okay let me get out of the section before i get one of everything so i'm gonna go ahead and get the pink brush and we're gonna go ahead and put this one back all right we're getting through the list i'm looking for 
the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. And that's not gonna be in this section, but they do have a, they do have the brand here, like for body washes and lotions and stuff. But I'm glad I saw this because it reminded me of what I needed to get. So let's go back and get that. I don't even know if they have that here. If they don't have it, then I might just have to order it on Amazon. Oh, yeah, there's nothing more. Okay. I might just have to order it on Amazon or just come back out tomorrow and get some stuff. What up, y'all? This 60 Cent coming at you live from Walmart. The Wizzy Busy Mo Walmart. You heard me. No. I'm looking. Oh, I don't have it. Go away. They don't have the chromes that I was looking for. They have that, but that's the cheap version. I need the... Let's... They have this, but that's not what I was looking for. I'm looking for this brand, like this of this brand. And they don't have it. <laughs> Do I just order it? Should I just order it? I might just have to order it because I don't want to use cheap stuff on my first week. That does not cost $1,200, by the way. Okay, I'm just going to come back and we found everything. Okay. So, I'm back and I do have a pretty good amount of stuff in my cart. And then plus some stuff that my dad put in the cart and right now i'm just going through each other section of walmart because why not in case you know if i see something that i might not have known what i needed you know what i mean okay so in my cart so far let me stop somewhere in an aisle where there's no people because i don't like people i love people but at the same time like get out of my way okay you see the aisle Oh, oh, this is cute. Okay, so, in my cart, I have a pretty good variety of stuff. And then that's my dad's stuff. We don't look at that. But here, I just have some stuff that looks necessary for me. Got hair ties, got the blonde bleach dye stuff, and just some other stuff that I needed. And I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, I am going around... Um, okay, I am going around every other aisle, not maybe, I'm being a little dramatic, not every other aisle, but I am going around some other aisles just to see if there's anything else that I could possibly need, and I don't think so, but we're just going to go look and see anyway. I just saw some, <laughs> some, uh walmart justice apparel i remember when the justice was like the louis vuitton of elementary school yeah now it's at walmart how do y'all feel now i used to shop at justice religiously even in middle school i shopped at justice i didn't stop shopping at justice until like seventh or eighth grade. okay and uh actually i do remember another thing i'm gonna look for i'm gonna look for some some strapless, uh, I think I said that earlier, but I ended up skipping over it as, as some strapless bras because I have some shirts where I just don't. I mean, you can let the bra strap shut through, I just choose not to. So, I'm gonna see if I can find some strapless bras in my size. I need to get better shaped, better shaped bras because in my bras, like, I feel like there's always a space, it's not a big space, but it's a space goodly enough size to where I can need a new bra. So I'm gonna see if I can find some strapless ones. I don't know if they're gonna have strapless ones here. I think I might have to go, just go shopping once I'm in LA for that. And, oh, these are cute. These are the little like $1 camis. Why does it say $14? Who the hell is gonna wear that? No, y'all are supposed to be on sale. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find any shorts books here, or at least ones that aren't ones that I would be willing to buy. Hmm. Let me not leave my cart here. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I know I've said this before, but I'm not gonna buy a swimsuit though. Mm -hmm. I am going to just wait till I get to LA. That's my final decision. Yeah, I'm just not gonna. So, okay, I see my dad. I think I'm pretty much good to go. I don't think I need anything else. And if I do, like I said, I'll just buy it another time. But I think I have all of the major stuff that I came up for, so that's good. Okay. So, our Walmart trip is done. And um, I don't know how, but we spent an hour at Walmart. I really didn't think it was that long. I thought it was like 20 or 30 minutes. I did not know it was that long. But we finished Walmart. I'll show you guys the stuff that I got when I get back. But currently, we're at Walker House. One of the best breakfast restaurants ever. And I just got the basic all-star special, so. I'm just spreading on the food. All right, you guys. So I'm finally back in my room, back from the day that I've had, technically the night that I've had, because like I remember, like I told you guys, I didn't leave until after nine o'clock. And it's currently one o'clock in the morning. So, yay. But yeah, I'm back from Walmart. I got all the stuff that I needed to get. And then you guys saw, um, I had a little late dinner at Waffle House. And now I'm back here. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So let's get into it. Sorry, my dog is right here. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you get out of my bags, please? Bye-bye. Come on. Move, please. Okay. So, the first thing, um, wait, wait. The first thing that I got is, uh, some, I'm just gonna pull out whatever I pull out and, you know. So, I just got some sunscreen because, like I said, I'm not trying to go to school and, uh, I'm not trying to go to school and have sunburn all over my face so, you know, just got some sunscreen. Let me wipe my I feel, Oh my god, that is so much better. I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, I got some sunscreen. Because, like I said, can't be coming back and having sun, uh, sunburn and having my skin pulling everywhere. That just can't happen. So, got some sunscreen. I got 70 SPF, the sport version. I just bought the cheapest one that I could find. So... Yeah, but I mean, it works. If it works, it works, right? And then the next thing I got is some toothbrushes. Because I just, you're supposed to replace your toothbrush. I think it's every month or two months or something like that. But mine was way overdue. So I got some more toothbrushes. Just the four pack. Because I can just keep using these. I was going to and I was gonna get um a electric toothbrush. But I really want to pick a good one. And I just didn't really feel like looking through all of them. Which they didn't even have very many options in the first place. So I feel like if I want to get an electric toothbrush, I'm going to have to order that online. But these will do for now. And then uh, some whitening toothpaste. Some whitening toothpaste. Glamorous white. I bought this. If I'm being honest with you, this was not the uh, cheapest one. I bought this because the box looks pretty. But, and also, that's not the only reason I bought it, but that's the main reason why I bought it. Because there was a cheaper option for whitening toothpaste. But, um... I bought this one because the box is pretty. I'm just like that. But yeah, I bought this one. It's the Glamorous White. It says it removes 90% of pores of surface stains and it starts whitening after one brush. Wow. So I went ahead and got that because I needed some more toothpaste anyway. I think I'm almost out. Um, this isn't the toothpaste that I have now. I just bought a new one because I wanted one that was like a whitening toothpaste because I feel like my teeth need a little work. So I got that, and then I got some body wash from, I think this is the OGX brand, yep, OGX, the shea butter and coconut, the shea butter, agave, and coconut oil. I have gotten this one before. The last time I bought it, though, I bought it on Amazon. I really didn't think they had these in stores because I've never seen it before in stores, um, but I got that one because it will match with the lotion that I got and then my coconut perfume that I have, so that's a good set option for me, and this stuff makes your skin so soft and it smells so good and it's only like six dollars and it's a really big bottle so you get money for your buck or whatever but yeah love this and then the next thing that i got is some this is the lot of body coconut oil 
wrap me foaming mousse it says it creates soft wraps defines curls and tames frizz now if you go back a couple minutes you'll see that this is not the curling mousse that i originally wanted i originally wanted the shea moisture um excuse me the shea moisture curling mousse but they didn't have it there I don't know why, 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 I don't know why I was expecting them to have it. That's why I was originally going to go to the beauty supply as well, because I knew they would have had it there. But um, the beauty supplies were closed by the time I went out. So I was like, okay, let me just get something here for now. And then I did end up ordering the curl mousse on Amazon. It'll be here on Sunday. And I had it shipped to my dad's house since that's where it would be on Sunday. So that's that. But I got this as just something for now. Because like I said, I'm applying my wig on Saturday and I need something to bringing the curls back to life and back to shape when I you know brush it lay it down lay the edges down and all that stuff so I just bought something really quick for now so I got this and I mean it works but I was just really hoping to get the Shea Moisture one but I, like I said no big deal I just went ahead and ordered it on the Amazon and it'll be here on Sunday so that was that and then this is I bought the I bought a box dye I bought a box dye I hope this works for when I bleach the knots. It should. Um, because I know people usually use like L'Oreal Quick Blue or some other powder bleach that you scoop. So I'm hoping this works. This is still a bleach. It's just um it says one step lightener for dark hair plus dazzling tone. So I hope it works. It says hair lightener. And the knots are still hair, right? so i mean i hope it works we'll see if it works but yeah i just got a box dye um it's luminous blonde this is the lightest blonde that i could find the other ones were like honey blondes and then like ash blondes which i just wanted something that to lift the knots i didn't need them to turn weird i just wanted something to lift the knots so um it would blend in with my, my makeup better and it'll help create more of that scalp effect on my head so i got this and we'll see if it works let's hope it does and that's everything from the first bag and then for the second bag, I bought a hairbrush. If the, I opened it while I was in the store because I just wanted to see how the... I can go ahead and take it out now, actually. I just wanted to see how the, how the bristles felt. And I just wanted to make sure that it was like the Cantu brush that y'all saw. And it honestly is. And I bought it mostly because it was pink. But um, I was mainly looking for something with these types of bristles. The detangling brush for the hair and it works i feel like it works and i'm excited about this because i've never had one of these brushes before so yep let's put this back in the box ouch i wanted to um wanted to see if i could find some like uh i don't know what you call it but i wanted to see for the wig if i could find some of those um now that i think now this i think i would have most definitely had to go to the beauty supply store for because i didn't see them but i wanted to see if i can find some of those like wrap it strips you know the gray strips that you get that you wrap around your head i wanted to see if i could find those but i couldn't find any i wasn't really expecting to find any anyways at walmart that's something that you would have to go to the beauty supply store for but it's fine it's no big deal i can make shift without it so got the hairbrush and then the next thing that i bought is some just some hair ties you can always use some more hair ties so these are ouchless i always get ouchless and i got oh let's not drop it i just got a variety of colors i was gonna get all black but i think some variety of colors is is good so got those and then these lashes i am so excited about these I've never seen this brand before. I recently discovered it on someone's TikTok a couple days ago. And I was like, oh my goodness. I did not know that these lashes existed. And they look so cute. These are the Kiss Kiss Last Drip Spiky and Booster, Booster Volume Lashes. Boosted Volume Lashes, sorry. Um, and this is the, um, the, the style You Do You. Because these are supposed to give you... A wet look like a wet effect like your lashes are supposed to look wet i guess and i like them oh and i bought these because i like this spiky look that it gives you while it's still being like full so i'm gonna try these on and see if i like them and i also ordered another version of these on amazon it's the same brand kiss lash strip but it's another style i think the one that i bought on amazon is called drenched i believe I'll put those, I'll put the links to everything that I bought down below. But 
um i bought these because i wanted to see how they were gonna look because i these are the lashes that i normally well wear and i do like these i just i'm always down to try a new pair of lashes so i was like okay let me just get these and see how they work and then the next thing that i okay and then the next thing that i bought is these press on <gasps> toenails i'm sorry you guys like i'm sorry i already told you i don't use these on my on all of my toes i literally just buy these for the big toe because like i said all of my other toes are square shaped it's just my big toe that's more of like a rounded shape i'm not gonna show you <laughs> not for free <laughs> but um but my big toe is the only one that's more of a rounded shape and i like all of my toes to be like square so I just put the big toe on the big one to make it square. And it's always worked out pretty well for me. So I just bought these so I can do my big toe. Because like I said, I am doing my nails and my toes tomorrow. Well, technically today because it's 1 a.m. But I am going to be doing my nails and my toes. Um. So, yeah, that's that. And that's that. And then the next thing that I bought is some Body Fantasy Cupcake Squirrel. Um mist what is this called hair mist fragrance whatever you whatever you want to call it i smelled this in the store and it was so good this isn't something that i planned on buying it was just something that i saw when i was walking down the aisle and i stopped and i saw it and it, re it reminded me of how i used to buy the purple one of these i don't remember the name of it but i bought the purple bottle and then i smelled this one and i was like oh my goodness this smells so good so i bought it it's a little impulse buy and then the next thing is some more of my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff, I live by, love, use it. I literally use it every single day. Whether I'm cleaning up my eyebrows, like when I do my eyebrows, I'll clean up around the edges or something. Because I don't really carve out my eyebrows with concealer. I probably should, but I usually don't. I just clean up my eyebrows with this. And I use this to take off like my eyeliner or whatever. And then that's pretty much... I what I use it for or whatever makeup that I need to remove because most of my makeup will come off in the shower so I use, I wash my face in the shower so it'll usually come off then but this stuff I love like I said use it every single day and then the next thing that I bought is excuse me some Noxima cleanser with this one is the one with eucalyptus there are two versions one doesn't have eucalyptus and then there's one that does. I got the one with eucalyptus. They both work really well on my skin. And I bought this one because I this was the only one that was there. <laughs> I couldn't find the other one. But I do love the way this works on my skin though. And I like the way that your skin kind of tingles when you feel it on your skin. And it's always worked really well for me. So I love this. I've been using this stuff for years. And then the last thing that I bought, nice and simple, is just some more some more lotion because i feel like i needed some because the jergens lotion that i have now it's actually almost gone so i bought this lotion and i i don't think i've ever bought this kind before i've bought jergens before but the other one that i bought is up there the other one i bought is like skin healing like for dry skin i don't think i've ever bought in this one before so we'll just see how it works i feel like it should work fine but um yeah so that's everything that i bought and you know spent it's actually not that bad i only spent 77 dollars, but um that's more than i initially thought that i was gonna spend but it's still not that bad so i'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back in the bags because i'm not using any of this stuff right now i was gonna um, I was feeling pretty motivational about 30 minutes ago. I was like, oh, I'm going to do my nails and my toes tonight. I'm going to bleach the knots on my wig tonight. I'm going to get so much stuff done. Uh, but no, that mood changed real quick. So now I am so tired. I'm not doing anything else today. I am supposed to go to the mall tomorrow with a friend. But we'll see if that happens or not. I really don't know if it's going to. But if it does, that'll be fine. I can just do my nails and my toes when I get back so that's that and then like i said we're still on track for the wig install on saturday i didn't get to i didn't get a chance to go to the beauty supply store to get a new wig glue like i said i was going to i don't think they'll have any wig glue at the mall i need out it i don't think there's any store that sells stuff like that so i'll just have to use the kiss glue that i have and 
I don't know, maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong. I'll do some research or something and see. I'll change up the way I apply my wig. And hopefully, it won't do that with this wig. So, let's just hope and pray that it doesn't happen. Like, I, like you know what, what I meant when I, when I said that. Like, you know what was happening with this stuff right here. So, let's just hope that that doesn't happen this time. So, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back. <sighs> okay. And so, tomorrow... What I'm going to be doing for you guys, like I said, my nails and my toes. And, um, I didn't get a chance to go to, I didn't get a chance to go to Crumble Cookie either today. Because I thought they didn't close until midnight, but that's just on Fridays and Saturdays. They close at 10 every other day. So, maybe I'll go there tomorrow and I might film that as well. But if I don't, you'll probably see something on my, um, on my other socials about me posting about that cooking. So, that's that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed because your girl is tired. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start when I start my hair. Not my hair. When I start my nails and my makeup process. Um, My nails and my makeup process. My God. My nails and my toes process. For my nails, I just do press-ons. It's easier for me to do press-ons because for my job, I work at Starbucks. And we're not allowed to have any type of nails on whatsoever. We can't have no polish even clear gel like clear sealant like we can't have nothing so it's easier for me to do my own press on so that way i can just take them off whenever i have work instead of me spending anywhere from 30 dollars to 75 dollars getting my nails done and then i have to take them off like a week later to go to my job like that just is a waste of money to me so it's easier for me to do my um to do my nails and my toes by myself my toes i could get done but i think i'm gonna just save the money and do it myself because it's really not that bad it might, it's not the full pampering pedicure experience but i'm down to do it myself because i'm home all day every day what else am i gonna do so i'll see you guys tomorrow when we get to the process hi you guys so today is currently friday and it is i want to say like a little bit after 11 p.m so you guys saw from before yesterday thursday i went to walmart got some stuff that i needed and then um went to walva house did all the things so now today like i said it's friday night and i'm gonna be doing my nails so how i'm gonna be doing my nails is like i said for my nails and my toes i do for my nails i do all press-ons and then for my toes like you like i said i just use that one press-on for the big toe and then the rest of them i just paint so what i'm gonna be doing what i'm gonna be doing is just taking you guys along the process all righty hello so to do my nails i use just these basic press-ons right here i got them from amazon they were like nine dollars and you see, I've been using it for a long time because there's a couple boxes that are empty, which is the boxes for the numbers that match my fingers. Please don't mind my dirty counter. I haven't cleaned it off yet. I'm sorry. But so I've already gone ahead and pre-matched my nails. And lucky me, like each thumb is like both a zero. Each like both my hands are the same size so that means i can use the same number for both nails which makes it a lot easier to match for me like it's gotten to a point where i don't even have to take one out and see if it matches or not i can just go ahead and put it directly on this thing now this thing is um a press on nail holder Ew. this thing is a press on nail holder and it holds my nails while i paint them and it just makes it it makes the application easier for me so this way i can paint the nails better and i won't have nail polish all over my fingers which is exactly what would happen if i glue the nail if i glued the press ons first and then did them so i just go ahead and do this this is makes it easier for me and i have my base coat and top coat ready from modelones modelones this is from amazon as well and then the polish that i'm gonna be using is this new pink the color 1004 from Venalisa. This is also from Amazon. It's the color nude pink. And then for my toes, the big toe is going to be a Frenchie, a Frenchie. And then the rest of my toes, I'm just gonna be using this basic white nail polish from Beatles. So to start my nails, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this base coat. And then I do two layers actually three layers of new pink just because the color 
is like nude so it's kind of like sheer so i have to build it up so i have to do three layers of it and then um for the white for my toes i just do two layers so let's get started All right, you guys, so this is the final product for my nails. I did three layers on each one of the nude pink polish, like I said, because, you know, this polish, as you guys can see during the process, it's really sheer, so you have to kind of, like, build it up. And I really love the way this turns out. On camera, it looks more rosy, but in real life, it's, like, a lighter pink. I don't know why it's doing this on camera, but, um... It's still pretty somewhere, it's just in camera. On I mean, in real life, it's lighter. So I really love the way these came out. And you know, when I put them on my nails, I just use my nail file to file down my real nails and then stick them on with some glue. I don't think I'm gonna show the process for that just cause I mean, it's kind of it's kind of simple, but I might, we'll see. And now it's time to do my toes. I'm definitively not gonna, here, let me turn the camera around. I'm definitively not gonna show you guys the process of me doing my toes just because my toes right now, no, in bad shape. That's why I'm doing my toes so they can be in good shape. I'm not showing you guys the finished product, but I just still feel a little weird about me putting my little, my dogs out on camera. So I think I, oh, I'm looking at myself. I hate that, I, I hate the fact that I can't look at myself and look at you guys while I'm looking at myself because I'm filming on my phone right now. Why is my eye doing that? I don't know. But yeah, I have the fact that I can't look at you guys and look at myself at the same time because I'm on my, I'm filming on my phone. So when I'm looking at myself, I'm not looking at you guys. So ew, I'm going to look at you guys. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys the finished result of my nose and toes when they're finished just because me putting on my nails you just file your you just file your fingernails down to get the layer of oil up and you stick them on with some nail glue. It's simple. And then for my toes, like I said, um, yeah. But I am going to show you guys just the simple process of what I do. So, for my nails, I've already showed you guys this, but I'm going to show you again if I can find it. It's on the floor. Like I said, I just used these and I used the one for the big toe. And I put it on my big toe. And then for the other smaller toes, I just use some basic white nail polish. And then come and then up along with the base coat and top coat. That's all it is. You guys who've gotten a pedicure, you know, you know the deal. It's really nothing special. The only thing that's different is me putting the press on on my big toe. And the only reason I'm doing that is because my other toes are square, but for some reason my bigger toe, my big toe is round. And I like all my toes to be square. So that's why I use these. But we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys the finished product of both my nails and my toes when they are all done. So I'll see you guys. It's really going to take probably about 30 minutes, but for you guys, it's going to be about just like that. So I'll see you guys when both my nails and my toes are done. All right, you guys. So I have finished my nails and my toes. So these are what my nails look like. Nice and pink. I Oh, excuse me. I showed you guys what they looked like when I immediately finished them. I just filed down my natural nail beds and then just stuck these on using some basic nail glue. The one I used was from LA Colors, Fast Action. It's like a dollar forty-eight um on Amazon. But yes, take a look. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think I can file down like you see this the I forgot about these little stickers. I feel like I can file these down. Oh. Why are my glasses crooked? What's happening? Okay. Oh look at this girl in the background. The halter top top. Alright. 
All right, anyway, these are my nails. And then I'm gonna show you guys the finished product of my toes from as far away as possible because y'all shouldn't be seeing these for free. <laughs> I'm joking. But I did do them. So like I said, my big toe is a little Frenchy. And then the other my the other toes are I was about to say black. The other toes are white. So let's go ahead and look at these toes. Oh my god, you guys. Ew, look at my feet. Okay, so this is the finished product. It looks weird on camera. Like the Frenchie looks different on camera, but in real life, I promise you it looks so much better. And don't mind the scar on my right foot right here. I dropped hot wax on my foot a long time ago. Stupid mistake trying to make some wax in the microwave and used a plastic bowl and you know, it melted and you guys can figure out the rest, but yeah. Oh my God, ew. Yeah, so I just did white toes and then, you know, the big Frenchie, all right. So now that my nails and toes are done, that's another step done. I was gonna say step two, step three, but I honestly don't even know what step it is because I don't know how many steps are left. So, went shopping, did my nails and my toes. Um, tomorrow I have to do laundry and I have to pack and you know, the classic one, the classic wig install. Hi baby. Hello, hello. <laughs> So tomorrow I have to do the wig install and then tomorrow is Saturday, technically today because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I took a long break after I finished my nails, you guys. I took a long break. Like I started this at like 10 p.m. and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I took a long break because my stomach was hurting. Um, but I have to do laundry tomorrow. I have to pack as well tomorrow because Sunday is when I go over to my dad's house and I really don't have anything planned Sunday. So I don't even know if I'm a film Sunday. But, um, yeah, I will be filming early Monday morning with you guys for me getting ready to go to the airport. And then, um, some little mini clips from the airport. But for Saturday, like I said, just gotta do laundry and then gotta pack. And then the infamous wig installed. I did prepare the wig, um, I did prep the wig. And let me tell you guys, I'm so mad at myself because I overplucked it. And I'm so mad. Alright, I'm gonna just give you guys a little sneak peek. So here she is. Here she is. Yes, let me bring her closer. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about when I say when I say I overplucked it. Like you can see, like it's just not giving. Like here, here. Like I'm so mad. Hopefully it'll look better when I put it on. It's just for now, like, I'm so mad at myself. And I even gave it a bald spot, bro. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. I gave it a bald spot. I'm so mad at myself. I gotta, like, hide that stuff. But we'll make it work, you guys. So today is packing day and then wig install day. And then gotta do laundry as well. And then um, I told you guys, I don't remember. I think I did tell you guys. Yeah, I have a package that's being delivered to my dad's house on Sunday because I'm going over there on Sunday. So the last minute, like the last last minute stuff that I need that I ordered, I ordered that and it'll be at my dad's house on Sunday. So I'll show you guys that when it arrives. And then I'll just put that stuff in my suitcase or my carry-on depending when I can put it in. But um, for tomorrow, it's a wig install day. I'm so excited to, you know, get rid of this. It doesn't look that bad, but you guys saw the the, the hairline i don't even want it like like ew no let's hide hide that i'm just so glad to get rid of this i mean it doesn't look that bad it's okay but i'm just excited for miss her right here like look at that look at, look at it look at it okay so like i said tomorrow is wig install day and laundry and anything else i need to do pre to prepare for the trip I was going to see if I could take my pink Steve Madden suitcase, but the zipper on it is like broken and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm going to just end up taking this other rose gold suitcase that I have, which is not even mine. It's my mom's, but I can, I'm, I'm going to use it. So that's that. And then on Sunday is really just going to be a chill day. Um, everything will be mostly packed, if not all packed by then. And then um, I don't even know if I'm going to film anything Sunday because... That's just a chill day um, for me to just prepare for the flight the next day, me going over my dad's house. And yeah, that's that. If I think of filming something, I might, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna film Sunday. I'm in, I might just wait until 
Monday to show you guys. Oh my god. To show you guys me preparing for the airport. And then there will be another video of me actually spending time in LA. So that's going to be the second video. So this video is just me prepping to go to LA. And then the second video will be me actually in LA. So stay tuned for that. And then um, for the wig install tomorrow, I have to wash my hair. Because um, I'm going to wash it, blow dry, and straighten it. Because I don't know how to do cornrows on myself. So for me, the easiest way to get the flattest bald cap method is for me to just go ahead and straighten my hair. So that way I can brush it back and then put the wig cap on because my hair is short enough, like it's like this long. So it's short enough for me to where I can um, just brush it back and then do a little swoopy swoop in the back and just put the wig cap on. So I have to wash my hair tomorrow before I can put this on. And then I got to take an extra long shower tomorrow because, you know, got to do the face masks, have to shave everywhere, everywhere. And then um, I just did a long pause. I had a brain fart. Just um, doing all the things tomorrow. I'm going to do a face mask because for some reason I'm like starting to break out like really bad. Like it doesn't look as bad on camera, but like in real life. Um, you can see like there's just this bigger pimple right here and then a smaller one here and then another one like right here It's like a line and then it's just my face is not as clear as it normally is. So I need to Hello, I need to take care of this the best that I can And just prepare for the trip All right, so today it's Friday. We got it over with yay and I will see you guys on Saturday when I am starting the wig and stuff Hi, you guys. So today is currently Saturday. I mean, technically, it's Sunday. It's just like 2 o'clock in the morning. I always do my stuff late at night. Like, people who know me know, like, I be up until, like, like late. Oh, my God, my forehead looks so big. Ew. Oh, my God, please don't look. Let me, like, do that. Ew, and it still looks big. Okay, at this point, it is what it is. I can't help it anymore. Okay, all right. So, like I said, and you guys who know me know that I just be up late at night, like, doing whatever, like, now. Because I do have stuff to do, but even when I don't have stuff to do, I still be up late at night watching YouTube, watching movies, like, doing whatever. But today, I actually have stuff to do. So, today, I'm going to be doing, or tonight, <laughs> I'm going to be doing my wig install. And I actually already started packing. Let me show you guys. I already started packing. Look at my clothes. These shoes over there, right, right, right there. I need to uh, clean those because those are the shoes that I wear to work. And I work at Starbucks, so there's like coffee and syrup and dirt and crap on them. So I need to clean those, but those will be going in my suitcase. And then you see, like, my clothes, like, are not flat at all. Like, they're pushing up out of this freaking suitcase. And then I have a couple pairs of shoes in there. And then I'm going to put one more pair of shoes in there. And then uh, I got out of the shower recently, so I'm not going to pack my shower stuff until tomorrow to give that stuff time to dry in the shower before I put it in plastic bags and stuff and put it in there. But that stuff, going, that stuff is going in there as well. So packing is going well. And then on my bed... I got my purse that I'm taking, and then I have the little carry-on bag that I'm taking as well. So those are in, in the process of... Hello! Hi, baby! Those are in the process of being packed, so things are moving along. What are you doing? Hi, boo-boo. You were sleeping. What happened? You up now? He's a late-nighter like me. Okay, get down, boo-boo. Okay, come on. Okay. Sorry, boo-boo. All right, let me put this back down. So yeah, packing is going smoothly. The big, the biggest thing that I have to do now is uh, my wig install. So for my wig install, I went ahead and I washed my hair, I blow dried it, and I gave it like a straighten out. It's not like a silk press, like this is not a silk press whatsoever. I just straightened it out, gave it a press to just make it flat as possible. So that way, I mean, I'm not gonna do that right now because then that, ex that reveals my big forehead. This, I feel like hides it a little bit. But I do this just so, cause like I told you guys, I can't do cornrows on myself. Even 
even more so because I have nails, but even when I don't have nails on, I still cannot cornrow. I don't, like, I've tried. Like, you seriously, guys, I've tried. I just, it just don't work for me. So what I do is I, whenever I put on my wigs, I'll just take my hair and brush it all the way to the back and then take a wig cap, take a wig cap and just put it on there. And then I'm doing, I usually do the ball cap method. Ew. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I usually do the ball cap method, but today I'm trying a new method. I'm using this wig grip band where you put this on first and then put the bald cap on on top so you don't have to glue down your bald cap. This has like little silicone bands, not bands, but little silicone like bumps on it. So the wig cap won't fall off, it'll stay in place. I haven't used this yet. This has been in my drawer for months, a long time, but I'm using it today. I'm gonna see if she works because I'm just trying, I'm not trying to like, do the entire like shebang and just glue down the bald cap because i don't really feel like it. okay you guys so me trying to record this full weight install for you guys has just been a complete hassle i keep losing footage footage keeps deleting my phone keeps stopping i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna i thought i was gonna be able to film all my youtube videos with my phone well i think i just need more storage but there's a whole issue of why i can't get storage right now something about this old card on my phone but anyway i think i'm gonna just have to, have to end up getting a camera because i was like oh i can film all of my videos on my phone that'll save me from having to buy a camera but no but anyway hopefully this video will actually finish and i can put this in here for you guys but look at my wig lace wear lace wear i mean lace right there a little bit but you can't tell me nothing Look at his wig, like, I think I did the baby hairs a little dramatic, but it's okay. I like dramatic baby hairs a little bit. So, look at this. I'm so mad you guys didn't get to see the full process. I mean, kind of, but not really, because, like, I did the whole lace band on the wig cap. I showed, I wanted to show you guys how I defined my curls. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll film another video on Snapchat. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know but i'm sorry you guys but basically what i did to define these curls because you saw how they were just looking wild and reckless so what i just did was i wetted them with some water this says conditioner and detangler but i use all this a long time ago there's just water in here now so i wet the curls and then i put some wrapping mousse on them just to define them up a little bit and just did that for all around the hair and oh look look ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm not looking at you guys right now i'm looking at myself i'm just in my element right now i feel like this color complements my skin so well and i'm so excited i hope and pray that these baby hairs don't stay this dark which i think they're going to because they feel dry but i mean i really don't know what else to do but okay i see you okay I'm in my element right now. Okay, let me stop. Let me put you down. Okay, so. All right, let me just, let me show you guys. So this is the hair. It's 24 inches. I think I've said all of this already, but I'm going to keep on saying it. 24 inches from the doula hair. Thank you, doula hair. Even though I bought it myself. Thank you for sending it to me. I bought it with my own money. It's not sponsored, by the way. This I bought this wig with my own money. Um but oh my god i hate the fact that i overplugged it because there's a bald spot right here but i mean i feel like you can't really tell oh you can tell okay maybe i'll just wear a hat but i love this wig love the curls they're everything wait till these curls dry and then they're popping like yes but so my now that my wig install is done um i'm gonna go ahead and finish packing um i'm not gonna show you guys once i finish packing because it's just gonna be all my stuff in suitcases i'll show you guys um early monday morning when i get up and get ready to go to the airport and then the last part of this video will be just me me showing you guys little clips of um airport footage and that'll be the last thing for this video and then the next video will be me actually in la and that'll be a whole separate video so Oh my god, excuse me. Now this wig install is done, I'm gonna keep filming myself. Okay, 
Um, now that this bait install is finished, I'm going to finish packing and it's currently after six o'clock in the morning and I still have not gone to bed. So I don't, I'm not even tired, honestly. I might just stay up because my dad's coming to pick me up at like 2 p.m. Even though that's like eight hours away from now, I still have stuff I need to do. And by the time I get finished doing the stuff I need to do, it's going to be like eight or nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to just eat some breakfast and then just stay up and then just get some sleep the night before I fly. So, yes, the wig install is done. Oh, now I got my hair done. I got my nails done. I mean, my makeup's not done, but you'll see my makeup done Monday morning or for you guys in a few minutes. But, um, yes, this is the final product. I'm in love with it. I think I can define some curls just a little more. I think because I keep brushing it through, I need to just leave it alone. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish packing. And I'm going to clean up, clean my room, make sure the final thing is done, make sure everything is packed and ready to go because I got to get some stuff out of my shower, put it in some bags, and then all my hair and tattoo. It looks crooked, but I promise you it's just because I'm like double jointed. It doesn't look like that. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but if I do like that, then it looks straight, kind of. It's straight in person, I promise you. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish packing, get the stuff from my bathroom, and then um, make sure everything is together, ready to go for when my dad picks me up. And then I will see you guys when I'm getting ready to pack for the airport. Hey guys, so it's currently 4 a.m. I know that I said that I was going to wake up at like 3, 3 o'clock, 3.30ish, and I kind of did. I ended up sleeping in a little later and then I got up, I uh, used the restroom. I went downstairs to grab my shoes to put back in my suitcase. I went to go get something to drink and not back upstairs. So it's currently 4.07. Oh, oh, oh my God. It looks like I have a black eye, you guys. Like, Okay, it's okay because I slept in my makeup. Excuse me, we're going to fix it. Oh my God, excuse me. It's okay, we're going to fix this. We're going to fix all of this. So like I said... Went downstairs, got some stuff, got something to drink, came back upstairs, and now I'm up here. So, I'm going to show you guys this the process of me getting ready for go to the airport. Um, so, remember how I told you guys that I ordered some stuff on Amazon that I could not get at the beauty supply store? I mean, not the beauty supply store, that I didn't go to the beauty supply store, that I got from Walmart. So, some stuff that I wasn't able to get, one of the most important things... The Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This was the one thing that I was looking for at Walmart and that I could not find. Which is why I got the other one, the Lotta Body $3 one. So, this is the tried and true Beauty Green. Love this. So, we're going to be using this on my hair today. Have I used this before? I've used this brand before, but for the products... This exact product, no, I haven't, but I know exactly how it works because I've seen other people um, use it on this exact same hair as mine, so I know it works, and I did smell it, and it smells delicious. It it smells like a sorbet, a candle kind of thing. It smells delicious, but we're going to use this on my hair today, and then um, just some other stuff I got from Amazon. I got some, I got some more scissors to... I mean, because you always need you always need scissors, right? I just got these to in case I need to cut my lashes or cut my lace some more or just you always need some sharp some sharp scissors because I feel like my scissors are starting to get kind of dull, which is why I bought these. And then ow. And then I got some eyelash glue. Now this one, this is the one that I always use. It says it's waterproof. It's not. It's not. I say it's water very lightly, water resistant. If you want a truly waterproof lash glue, uh, don't get that one. <laughs> There's other options on Amazon. There's one that's the Kiss brand, which is actually a waterproof glue. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but if you just look up waterproof lash glue, you'll find some good options. I just say look at the reviews first though. So that's that. And then I got these kiss lash strip nails because i said kiss lash strip nails kiss lash strip lashes 
because oh my god why do i keep oh my god i'm so sorry i got these because i remember i was telling you guys how i found these in the other style and i was looking for these but they didn't have these at the store they only had the other style at the store so i ordered these online and they're so cute i love these they're nice and full and then there's the little spikies in like in between them but it's so full i love it love 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 it and then um order some deodorant because i forgot to get it at the store and um i just didn't i didn't go at it at, 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 ooh, it's too early in the morning I got I ordered this online because I never ended up going back to the store after so um yeah I just ordered this online and then I got an eyebrow brush uh, not, not a brush this is this is my this is my favorite eyebrow product like I've been using this for a very I don't even know how long it's been a very long time this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer I get it in the color 315 I think yeah 315 which is deep brown and this is how i use it for my eyebrows i slept in my makeup but like y'all can see um i need to fix that but um i just use it to define my eyebrows and make them darker and add a tail to them so product delicious looks works very well i said delicious but like you know what i meant um it's like seven dollars on amazon so it's not that bad so i use this and then I got some e.l.f. setting spray. Because, I mean, I just needed another setting spray. I was trying to find one where it was like a dewy setting spray. This one is Matte Magic, which is gives makes my face look matte. I just bought that for now. But if you guys can recommend like a good dewy setting spray that makes my face look moisturized and shiny, then I'll buy that. And then the last thing that I got is some makeup brushes. Because... Um, I, it was time for me to buy new brushes. I hadn't cleaned my brushes in a very long time. So I just, I bought new ones. Because I actually needed some more new ones. Because I didn't have foundation brush. I was just using a basic powder brush. And I didn't have um, an eyeshadow uh, brush or like an under eye brush. So I bought these. Yay. So we're going to add these to my suitcase today. So actually I can go ahead and I have to take this box downstairs. But I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to do that later. Um, so for right now, I am going to get up, I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face, and then I'm going to kind of sort of, not kind of sort of, but I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face, get rid of this, and then I'm going to redo my makeup. I don't know which lashes I'm going to wear today. Should I just continue to wear these ones, or should I put on my new ones, these ones, or the other ones? I don't know, I'm so excited. Um... Which lashes should I wear, you guys? Which one should I wear? I don't even know what my new ones are. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me check. Okay. <sighs> it's just been a hassle. My storage stuff. I don't know what's happening with my storage. I thought I bought more yesterday, but apparently that wasn't storage. That was something else. So, I'm sorry if this video is a little choppy. It, it seems like it's going to be, but I'm trying to make the best of it that I can. So, I told you guys that I was looking for these other lashes, and I found them. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and use these. So, we're going to use these today. I'm, I'm oof. It's, it's, mm, whew, calm down. Woosa. All right. So, we're going to use these. And is there anything else I need from my makeup routine? I was checking, I was also checking my carry-on bag to make sure there was no liquids or anything that should not be in there. So, I think it's pretty good. I just threw a couple of stuff that shouldn't have been in there yesterday, cause, just because I was rushing. But now that I went through it, I don't think there's anything else that shouldn't be in here. But I'm going to go ahead and take out my airport outfit. It's just um, a black, like, halter top situation. And then some black leggings. And a black jacket. So, all black today. Woo! You don't need to see that. Um, what's this? Oh, um, this is my beanie. I don't know why I brought it. Um, I love my beanie. But, I don't know if I'm even going to wear it. But, I'm, I'm leaving it in my bag. Because, you never know. Alright. I'm just doing a last minute check. Is there anything in here? 
There shouldn't be. All right. Nope. It looks pretty good. All right. So I am gonna go ahead and so what am I gonna do now? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I want to do. Okay. First off, I'm gonna start by putting these shoes because I don't know if you guys saw or not, but. These shoes were originally the ones that were in my suitcase, and I wore these ones out of the house yesterday when I left my house. But now, I'm going to put these in my suitcase, and then I'm wearing these to the airport. So, we're doing a little switcheroo. So, I'm going to go ahead and put those back in my suitcase. I hope these fit. They should if I just put these flip flops right here. Yeah. Alright. Slide these babies in here. Oh, God. We'll make them fit. We'll fold. Okay. So there's one. And let's just stuff the other one in there. All right. And then this is, this goes right there. Put that right there. Alrighty. Good to go. I have a lot of crap in there. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna wear these. These are like my tried and true, trusted lashes. But I'm not gonna wear these. I'm gonna put these back actually. And then, actually, yeah, okay, nope, I'm, make, I'm making it in my mind, I'm not gonna wear, I'm not gonna wear those, I'm wearing these, I'm actually excited to wear these, I actually saw these from someone on TikTok, I think her TikTok name is Monet Michelle Michael or something like that, I'm not really sure, I'm sorry, I, pr I probably mispronounced it, but she originally showed these on her TikTok, and I went, and I was like, oh my god, these are so cute, so I went, and I saw these, so now I'm like, I have to buy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear those. And is this, you can have this in your carry-on, right? I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't wanna, I don't wanna chance it. And then they take my brand new stuff away. I'm gonna be mad. So, uh, I'm gonna put these in my carry-on as well. And then, what is this? I don't know. My life is not together right now. And then I'm gonna put this in my makeup bag. Put my setting. Is this two ounces? I think. Yeah, this should be. This should be pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna chance thing out. And then uh, my makeup brushes. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna need makeup brushes today? I don't think so. I'm gonna just do the basic makeup look like this, just better looking and take that away i don't think i'm gonna do my face just because i'm gonna be in the airport all day it's gonna be sweaty and i don't want to i don't want to yeah i don't want to do it so i'm gonna put these in my carry-on i mean i'm gonna carry on my suitcase and then um i'm gonna leave my suitcase open for now because i do still have to use some stuff that i have to put back in there like this and then uh my bathroom stuff my soap toothbrush toothpaste stuff like that so i'm gonna leave my suitcase open for now and let's go ahead and go to the bathroom so I can wash my face. Um, is there anything else I need before I get up? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so to take the rest of this makeup off my face, or to start, I'm going to have to use some paper towels because I didn't bring my makeup towels. And I don't want to put like this black stuff on their... Um, because I'm at my dad's house and his girlfriend's house and I don't want to put my black like makeup stuff all over the towels and stuff because if y'all see my towels and y'all girls at home with the makeup towels and y'all know that does not come off whatsoever so hmm. I think I'm gonna just use some paper towels these are actually pretty soft paper towels is this two or one? Oh, this is one they have the see they have the big paper towels some text oh no so I'm gonna just start off with this and just, oh, that was way too much. Oh God, I feel not prepared. I'm gonna just start off by wetting my face and then I'm gonna go in with my makeup remover after, but this cold right on my skin actually feels good and it's helping me wake up. So yeah, see all that stuff that would have been on the towels and I don't wanna have to hear anybody's mm. Okay. Okay. All right. 
so this is my face and then just to help with stuff i'm gonna take another paper tail and then this time this is gonna be my toner i use my cerave hydrating toner and uh i actually like this because it says it's supposed to protect my skin barrier. And I really feel, I honestly feel a difference. Because I know you're not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to go to sleep with makeup on. But I, y'all have seen that I've done it multiple times already, just in this one video. And, um, before I started using this, I noticed that if I even went a day without washing my face, I would end up with breakouts the next day. But ever since I've been using this, I feel like it's really helped bringing my skin back to normal. Because when I use this now, I don't notice breakouts the next day. If I sleep in makeup, my skin still feels as soft as it was before. So, this really makes a difference. So, I just go ahead and wipe it all over my face. It says to use swiping motions, so that's why I'm just kind of like wiping it all over my face. And the last step is just to use some of my Cetaphil. Is it Cetaphil or Cetaphil? Say or Cet? I'm going to say Cetaphil. Um, my Cetaphil Mattifying Acne Moisturizer. Oh wait, let me be an influencer. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. This stuff, I don't care if you put this in a volcano. This stuff is going to come out cold. Which sometimes is a blessing and then sometimes it's a curse. But let me tell you, this stuff is cold. I love it though and um I didn't bring my hand sanitizer because you guys know I put hand sanitizer on my face but I did not bring that oops okay so I'm gonna start off my makeup routine with doing my brows and for my brows they already I just kind of follow the natural shape and just make them more defined and then add a tail at the end so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay oh my god I'm sorry so I did the base of my eyebrows y'all can see here but I'm not gonna leave them like this I promise you I gotta go in with a what is this called oh god cotton swab q-tip and then I take some more of my master cleansing water and then I go in and I clean up around the edges and make them look as best as I can so yep okay so for my eyebrows I think this is the best that I can do at this point I think the one on the right might be a little bit longer oh yeah that's longer I'm gonna see if I can fix that real quick because sometimes you can notice it and then sometimes you can't but I feel like let me like just look at y'all y'all notice that right <gasps> I hate myself. And I was also just told that my flight has been delayed by an hour, but I still have to leave at the same time because we have to return the rental car. So that's fun. Now I gotta sit at the freaking airport for an extra hour. Yay. Love that. Okay. That looks better, right? Oh, hello. Oh, double, double. Mm. That's too much. Too much of me. <laughs> but okay, the eyebrows. Yes, okay. We got it going. So next is going to be eyeliner. And then before I do that, let me just brush the like tops of my, I don't know what you call it, the head of my eyebrow, I guess. So for the tops of my eyebrow, I don't know. I'm not for the tops of my eyebrow. For my eyeliner, I don't really know what shape I'm gonna go for because should I try to do a cat eye do I really have time to do a cat eye I think I'm gonna just do the shape that I normally do which is go like up a little bit and then bring it back I don't know what shape that's called but um yeah we're just gonna do that <laughs> okay so this is my how this is how my eyeliner turned out it's pretty cute is it perfect? No. I gotta fix up this one spot that I messed up right here. But besides that, um, it turned out pretty well. Every time I do my eyeliner, I feel like it comes out in a different shape. 
but as long as they both look even and the shape looks like it fits my eye then i'm fine with it i'm not really picky about the way i like my eyeliner all right so the next step for me is eyebrows did i say eyebrows what did i say i meant eyelashes i'm sorry i'm tired if y'all didn't know so like i said for my eyelashes i'm gonna be using let me turn it I'm gonna be using these ones, the last two. I'm gonna use the ones on the top because if y'all see the ones on the bottom, they feel like they look a little different. They might look the same if I brush this one out, but these ones at the top look more similar. It's just, you see the ones on the bottom look slightly different. And I don't know if I have time to fix that, which I don't think I do. I don't even know the time right now. So I'm gonna just use these ones at the top right here. I love opening a pair of fresh lashes, don't you guys? It's just so refreshing. But before I take those off, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on my lashes. All right. So the eyelash glue is now on my lids. And, oh God, I'm stressed out right now. Oh my God. And my back has a hole in it. That's just great. As you can see, my life is very put together. All right, so now I'm gonna take these lashes off. I don't know if it matters which ones. Oh, yep, these are the ones on the. Yep, yep. All right. This is the left lash, which I feel like it's always like that. But sometimes I can't even really tell which eye eyelash is supposed to go where. I hope these look good because if not, I'm stuck because I'm running out of time. Which I feel like they should. Everyone's eyelash is similar to this. So they're supposed to create a wet look effect. Like my lashes are like wet which is supposed to give them a more like dramatic look but we're about to see do we like that we don't like it it's too bad i don't really have time to fix it they're a little longer than i'm used to yeah they're a little long but they're thin so i feel like they it complements that way if they were long and they were too thick then i'd be a little like mm. But because they're on the thinner side, I feel like the length is okay. So let's go ahead and do this other one. And then we'll see how I feel after I can look at them. Look at both my eyes and really look at it. Oh my god, I cannot drop stuff today. Do we like that? I feel like we kind of do. They're just a little thinner than I'm used to because I look back and I'm like, do I have any lashes on? But they're cute. It's a new look. I feel like I just got to get used to it. But it's cute. I think I'm getting into it. Am I getting into it? I think I am. Yes. Okay. Okay, I like that. We like that, right? I like that. Okay. Okay. You do you. I see you. Where's the box? Okay. And that's what these lashes are called, by the way you do you i'm back and for my under eye i take my under eye brush and then I use a palette and then i just use the black shade i'm not telling you guys the name of the palette because i know there's a lot of controversy with this palette but it was on sale and i bought it and i use like the colors in it so I promise you it has nothing to do with the actual person who made this because I know this is controversial, but if you guys look at it, you can tell. And then for those of you who don't know the controversy behind this palette, good. Okay, so that's my under eye. That's what it looks like. I don't know why this part is shiny. Did I, st did I stick my face in some like, oh, I did. Because when I did this, it was from right there. Okay, well, I kind of like that. That looks stupid. Okay. That looks so stupid. I don't know what I was doing trying oh god. I don't know what I was doing trying to make up some new highlighter look right on the in the middle of my eye. Like, what are you doing? So my under eyes are done. It still looks like my like I haven't slept and I promise I went to sleep. I think that's just my face at this point. Okay. So, 
after this, I think this is basically pretty much what I do. Sometimes I decide to do highlighter and then sometimes I don't, but today I'm gonna do it. And then just put some on this nose area. And then go on, bring it down. Oh, it's a little crooked. That's fine, we can blend it out. Oh, hello. Hello, Miss Shine. And then put some on my cheeks. I'm going for the, for my cheeks, like this just the natural effect. That's why I haven't added any more to the brush. And honestly, I don't think I need to because I added a lot, but I like this because it's pigmented. All right. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, we love it. Don't touch me. Okay, and we'll just blend it out with the same brush, just without any highlighter on it. And the last, last-ish step to my makeup is to do my lips. And for my lips, I just, this is one lip combo that I use. It's the most common one that I use, um, because it just goes with everything. It's going to be my Aquaphor lip balm, which acts like a base. And then I go on top with this red lipstick. So the reason why I do the red lipstick on top of the Aquaphor is because it softens the look of the red lipstick. So it's not as bright as this. It's like a red lip gloss kind of effect. So my lips aren't so brightly red. They actually just make them look more reddish pink and just make them look more juicy and moisturized. Like I'm wearing a lip gloss. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Oh, did I get lipstick on my teeth? I think I did. All right, but you guys see that? Like, this doesn't look like red lipstick at all whatsoever. It just looks like like a red lip gloss kind of effect, and that's what I was going for. That's why I put the Aquaphor before the red lipstick because it dilutes, I guess, the red effect from the red lipstick and makes my lips just look juicier and moisturized. That's my makeup routine. One of them anyway. And then the final, final step is some setting spray. I don't know if you're supposed to shake setting spray before you use it. I feel like you're supposed to, but let's just go ahead and use it. because some of it got on my lips. And hopefully it sets my lips, so I don't have to keep reapplying this, but. Okay, this is my finished makeup look, totally. Lips, eyes, eyebrows, lashes, everything done. And now we gotta do this hair. The hair is not that bad. It's just, I know once I take it out of the claw clip, there's gonna be some bends and some brushed out pieces. So we're just gonna go ahead and fix this. But first I'm gonna put this stuff up. All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out of this claw clip. And this is what we're left with. And that's what I was talking about. These like bends in the hair. I mean, you can leave it there, but I have time to fix it. So I'm just go ahead and fix it. So. For my hair, what I'm gonna do is just, like I said, use some of this curl mousse and then let this just sit on my hair. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I will just divide this in half and then use the claw clip on this side. And then, put, oh God, excuse me for this side. I'm doing pretty big sections just cause the curls are defined, that's not the problem. I'm just trying to fix some of these uh, bends in there. Oh my God, you guys, if you could smell this, it smells delicious. Oh, oh my God, did I just waste some? I did. That's the left side. Or actually, that's my right side. I'm sorry. Now I'm doing the same thing here. You see the difference? You see the difference in that? Please tell me y'all can see the difference because I can. Please tell me y'all can see the difference. All right. All right. I 
can actually use a claw clip for this side because my other side's done. Which, it, it, it won't take long, honestly, but just to get the hair out of the way. So this is the hair. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little more on this side just because I put, I think I put a little bit too much on this side and this side looks a little thinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Okay. I love mousse, you guys. I think I've put enough mousse on my hair to last a lifetime with the mousse from before, the blue mousse, and then now this one. I just can't help it. I just love mousse. All right, so this is my hair. This is the finished product. So it still looks pretty similar as before. Like I said, I was just getting rid of the dry areas and like the bends and the parts where the curls were just like, looked like they were just brushed out and not defined. So now the curls are getting defined. Now they gotta dry, but um, this is the hair and this is the makeup. So. Now that my hair and my makeup is done, I have to put on my outfit. And I showed you guys, well, I kind of showed you guys my outfit, but oh, there's a mousse on here. Can't waste any. But yeah, like I said, I showed you guys my outfit. And it's all black, obviously. And I don't know what to say right now. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of tired and struck. Why does this side look different? I don't know. All right, so I'm back now. Hello, I'm back. Let me grab a hold of my camera. All right, I'm back. So all my stuff is currently packed in my suitcase and I just gotta zip it up and I have to put on my clothes and actually I can't zip up my suitcase yet because I have to put my deodorant and my perfume in there, but I have to get dressed, make up my bed, make sure everything is all packed, and I will come back to you guys after I'm dressed. All right, you guys, so I'm dressed. This is my outfit for the airport. Put some little sunglasses on, cover that little lace cap problem that we have, so I'm dressed. And then um, my dad took my suitcase and stuff downstairs. There's my bag, that's Amazon trash, so it's gotta go downstairs, but there are my shoes and I am actually pretty much ready. I'm trying to try slide off. And all right, I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and um, that's a good bingo. It's probably probably not, but I'm gonna grab my stuff and I will see you guys when I'm at the airport. So, getting to the airport today has been fast. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I gotta talk kind of low because, you know, airport. I'm in a bar right now, but I just got some, I got a fruit cup and then some honey cheese. Grandma just sounds very good. But it turns out that my flight. It was delayed by a couple hours, so now I gotta sit here and wait for my flight because it was supposed to be from Atlanta to Denver and then Denver to LA, but now it's Atlanta to Washington, so I gotta wait. Security, the security actually wasn't that bad. I saw the little, um, like the canine dogs and stuff, they were cute. About this, like how you get the security and stuff. And then there was this one guy, I was sending him like the security line, and he was just smiling at me all weird and stuff. And I was just like, okay, we can stay over there. But uh, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm really sorry if this audio is bad. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to make it good, but I can't really talk that loud. So, but yeah, I got their security. It, the security line was 
long for no reason. Like, it was hella long for absolutely no reason. I've heard it's been doing that all over the country. Like, my mom was telling me about stuff that was happening all over the country like that. So I was just like, oh, I mean, well, I'll be fine. But, oh, no, I was not fine when we got to the airport. But we got to the airport, and now I'm just sitting at my game and just waiting to get on the plane. All right, you guys. So, I am currently on my last connecting flight. This is the one that takes me to Los Angeles. I'm in Washington right now. I have a connecting flight from Washington to Los Angeles. So, I think this would be a go, a good chance for me to go ahead and end this video. And please make sure to stay tuned for the next video where I'll actually be in. I'll actually be in LA. So, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry if I can't, like, I'm not talking as loud as I normally do, but I'm on a plane and there's outside noise, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I will be posting more videos soon. And also let me know if y'all want to see any videos because I will try to take requests from you guys. Wow. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.